Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be giving you some tips and showing you how my Nexus 7 is set up to reduce lag and increase performance. So let's get started. Okay, so the first tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys is to delete any uh, pictures or videos that you don't need or that can be saved to the cloud or movies that are saved for offline, music, magazines, or books. Um, clearing up just general storage space will help your device to uh, reduce lag. Now the next one is to disable uh, background sync and current. Open up the Currents application, then hit the menu button at the top, go into the settings, and you will see background sync. Now, if background sync is unchecked, then okay, that's fine, that's how you want it. If background sync is checked and you don't really need it to be background, uh, background sync, then you can go ahead and just turn that off. It won't affect uh, the article syncing. Um, you can always manually sync the articles. This applies to third-party apps as well uh, uh, and your accounts. So if you have a, a Twitter application like Falcon Pro or you have a, a weather like Eye in the Sky, those will ask you if you want to sync them. And reducing the frequency at which they sync will help to free up some space because they won't need to be running to try to retrieve those uh, that weather information or those tweets for you. Um, here's another tip is going into the settings and storage. And you'll see you have all your storage information right here, the available apps, pictures, videos, audio, downloads, cached, and miscellaneous. Clicking cache data, and then it'll tell you, it'll clear the cached data for all the apps. Now this won't actually clear any personal data or anything that you have saved. All it does is it will free up some cache memory for new processes or new apps that you may use more frequently to allow uh, to use. So going in there every once in a while and freeing up some cash will uh, will help to give it a minor speed boost as well. Um, another tip is to go into the settings you'll see apps and you can see all your downloaded apps right here now going in here and managing whatever apps you have making sure that there aren't a bunch of apps that you don't use taking up space or being used in the background uh, swiping to the right can give you the running apps making sure that there aren't a bunch of apps that are wasting storage or wasting RAM in the background uh, is another way that you can help to decrease lag and help uh, to increase the performance of your Nexus 7. Now the next one actually is one of the biggest ones to make it feel a lot faster. Going into your uh, Nexus 7 settings, scrolling down, and if you don't have developer options, go into about tablet and click the build number. Just continue clicking it really fast and then it will eventually say you are a developer. Then you have the developer options. Then you go into developer options and as you can see, I have it on here. You're going to scroll down. And as you saw in my previous video, if you did watch it, you'll notice that I unchecked force GPU rendering for battery saving. Well, in this case, since we want to increase performance, we want to go and click on force GPU rendering so that anything that can be rendered on the GPU will be and to help performance. Then you can go ahead and right here where it says window scale and or window animation scale transition animator, uh, go ahead and click that and put it to 0.5. Put all those to 0.5 and all the animations will speed up and it will actually seem like your device is a lot faster. I have noticed that doing a all of these things, a combination of them, does actually help improve my Nexus 7 sp uh, speed. Now uh, the last thing is possibly, uh, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it does feel like it did help, is a custom launcher. If you saw in my uh, settings of my apps, you will notice that I had Apex Launcher installed. Now Apex Launcher is a custom launcher. You can There are tons of custom launchers in the Play Store to help you customize your Android device to the way you like it. But I have noticed that since installing this launcher, there's no more uh, like a bounce back when I'm scrolling on my Nexus 7. I noticed that when I would scroll, it would do this weird bounce back thing if I didn't scroll all the way with my finger. And it kind of got annoying. But since I've installed this launcher and I only have two home screens here, um, it has helped to reduce what felt to me like lag where it would just jump back and not let me go to the next screen. So if you want to try putting on a custom launcher and uh, customizing that to your preference, you can go ahead and do that too. That might help. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more. If you have any ideas or suggestions you want to give for others or for me uh, to help improve the performance and speed of your Nexus 7, don't forget to leave a comment down there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.